Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory, and let's start that timer and talk about note durations in regards to note construction. So I'm going to put two notes here on the staff. Both of these are um, hollowed out note heads with no stems. If you have a hollowed out note head with no stem, you're looking at a whole note. I've written two of them here. We'll get into just a second, in just a second, why it's called a whole note, but before we do, let's go ahead and, and write a couple of another rhythmic value, which looks like a whole note with a stem attached. I wrote two of them so you can see the stem facing both directions. Note that when you add a stem to a note, that it always is on the same, uh, not the same side of the note head, but it's almost like if you attach it to that note head and you spun the whole thing around, the stem would flip around too. Or you can make um, the association with the lowercase letters P and D, that these notes will um, have stems that are on the same side of the letters as P and D, if that makes any sense. And then this rhythmic value is a half note. And as you might figure, half is half of a whole. It takes two halves to make a whole in anything mathematically. Same thing goes with music. So whatever time, whatever duration it is of the whole note from beginning to end, slice that in half and then you have the length of a half note. And then as you might figure, the next step is going to be, let's see if I can draw these correctly quarter notes because what we're doing is we're dividing each of these by half every time we're introducing a new note so from whole divide that into half you get a half divide half into half you get a quarter I know it, we, we learn fractions at some point and they've come back to haunt us uh, the next step well actually before we do that the quarter note looks like a filled in half note so it's no longer a hollowed out note head but it's a filled in note head now the next one you might figure is going to be an eighth, and if you figure that, you are correct. So smart. This is an eighth note. How's that for a crazy English word? So the eighth note is half the value of a quarter note, and it looks exactly like a quarter note, except for it has what's called a flag attached to the stem. Notice that the uh, regardless of the direction of the stem, whether it's down or up, the flag is always pointing to the right side or it's on the right side of the stem. So imagine that there's a big gust of wind going this way and that wind is blowing the, the, the flags in that direction. Now since I've run out of space here, I'm going to go down to the next staff to introduce one more type of note here and here. And these look like an eighth note except there are two flags on these and this is a sixteenth note. There we go. So these are our basic note values. We'll have more than these but uh, what we really just need to know are the names and the look of these. That the whole note is a hollowed out note head with no stem and then the half note same thing as the whole note but with the stem quarter fill in that note head eighth note add a flag 16th add another flag and technically we can just keep adding flags if you add a flag to a 16th note it turns into a 32nd note add a flag to that one it becomes a 64th note after a while it gets a little bit ridiculous so we don't very often run across anything faster than a 16th note um, but we will from time to time these are really the only ones that we need to worry about for the moment so uh, just one more thing before uh, we're done here when you have notes with flags, make sure that the flags are on the right side of the note stem, regardless of the stem direction. It's like the, the wind is blowing from left to right across the page. And that's it on note duration. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 5 Min Music Theory on Twitter, or you can just leave me a comment and uh, I'll try to get back to you here. Thank you.